it going, everybody? <laughs> I'm going to show you a picture of my backyard. This was taken three years ago this week, and it was my first home. Now, before I bought this house with my wife, I helped people fix their homes for 10 years in the home improvement business, so I was really gung-ho. And my big goal on fixing my home was I wanted to grow food here in this empty, desolate place. And we had a big, empty pool. And the first thing we did is we framed this pool and turned it into a greenhouse. This is one day after I closed on the home. By day two, I had this huge, empty greenhouse, all right? And I, I didn't really know what to do other than I wanted to grow food. But I didn't really know how. I know that Arizona had its challenges. So, I decided I was going to put buckets and dirt and put them everywhere. And, you know, now is kind of a, a good time of year, so it was fine. But once it started heating up, I was watering those buckets five or six times a day. It was kind of pointless. I added a small solar setup at that time for lights. And then I switched to hydroponics. And I thought this is really great. Hydroponics, I don't have to water anymore, okay? But you have to dump that water out and flush it and it would all end up in the deep end of my pool and I was lugging water up out of the pool and it got expensive because you have to buy the hydro solution. So I decided to make a pond. I put chickens above the deep end of my pool. <laughs> all right, now these chickens, they wander the, during the day but they roost there at night. I put some uh, grapes and some lattice and I just uh, kept working on it. Now the chicken manure fell down to the pond, feeds the algae, that's why the water's so green here and I have water in my pool with some grapes uh, and tilapia fish. And the tilapia fish are part of my diet. I don't eat red meat anymore. And we actually raise the tilapia food. And what I'm doing here now is I'm actually combining hydroponics and aquaculture. And when I combine the two, it uses 90% less water than conventional farming methods, which is pretty big here in the desert. So what I found is we try to create a biological system really biological. We don't fight algae, we don't fight snails, and the results have been fantastic. You can scale it up as big as a big pool or scale it down to a 10-gallon fish tank we have here with the best strawberries you'll ever grow. What we've discovered is that the more biological we've created our little ecosystem in my pool, the better our results are. And you can see beautiful lettuce growing with some Swiss chard. We have about 10 different types of lettuce we grow, and this is in a rain gutter. So what we started doing is we started telling people about the weird way we grow food in this crazy place. We created this meetup group, uh, which is transformed now. We're a nonprofit organization, and we give free classes how to do what we do. We give tours. Right now, we're doing canned food drives. I teach classes about our unique system of growing. You can see we're growing on bookshelves. We grow floating on styrofoam all year round. And we've created a mini community. I'm kind of a shy guy. I stay at home with the kids. Now I get to tell you about my awesome goats. You know, these are dairy goats. These are when they were a baby. They're eating their pellets now, but we're actually working on growing their own food. They're the last part of our closed loop. I mean, we're not quite growing their food, but we're working on it. But they give us milk. This is my, uh, my side yard. When we first bought it, it was nothing growing here. Now we're growing bananas. And this is with my clothes wash water. We recycle 10,000 gallons of water a year to grow food with. It's really easy to do. Anyone can do it. This is a little hobby greenhouse. Some of you might have thought about getting a little 10 by 7 greenhouse, nothing too big, and you want to wonder what to do with it. Well, this is run with one 55-gallon barrel and six fish and a tiny little pump on a timer, and everything gets irrigated with this. And now we're experimenting with growing our own grow medium. This is algae, and what we're doing is we're actually growing in the algae. We've grown tomatoes. This is a marigold. We've grown taro. So not only are we growing the own food and this fish, but we're growing the own grow medium, too. We've ran out of space in my pool. This is above my carport. Another crazy place to grow. So what we're gonna grow is really tall stuff like corn and sorghum to help feed our goats to close that loop. So this was done in a volunteer project with local people here. This is my backyard now. Big difference from three years ago today. And we keep working on it. We've pretty much refined this. Now we wanna take my method of growing, the garden pool system, other places. And we think the biggest place that could benefit right now is Haiti. So this is my next big project. I'm going to build a garden pool in Haiti outside of a clinic. If you guys want to help, that's great. Because, you know, you can give someone a fish or you can teach them to fish or whatever. But anyways, for all the information about what I do, go to my website, gardenpool.org. Don't watch reality shows, gardenpool.org. And you guys can learn the real stuff. Thanks very much.